Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So, we are home. I am home from Star Wars Celebration. It's over and I'm really, really sad. I'm really feeling the con blues at the minute. I'm feeling a little bit like, ah, oh, I want to go back because it was such a surreal experience. Um, so my plan is I'm going to be making multiple videos for reviewing certain things that I saw at the panels and at Star Wars Celebration. So this video is going to be my review on Ahsoka because there's a lot to talk about. I'm going to be delving deep because there's a lot to sort of discuss and to... I'm going to re-react to the trailer um, because we saw the original trailer live on stage or at the panel and then the next day at the actual... So that was at the Lucasfilm panel. Then the next day at the Ahsoka panel, we got to see an exclusive trailer which had a couple of extra bits in it um and had some announcements in it which you guys already know the announcements by now but i would like to talk about these um i will also be making a video i will also be making a video on the bad batch and then i will be making a video that includes multiple things including skeleton crew acolyte and or uh mandalorian all that kind of stuff and then i will also be doing a video which will just be like a vlog as such i don't really speak in it so it's not really a vlog it's more just hey here's content from star wars celebration and i'm just gonna upload it so i'm gonna be doing that eventually as well but for now this video is all about ahsoka okay so first things first let's have a little rewatch of the trailer um like there was a part in this that you guys are gonna know exactly which part but there was a part that i yelled everybody yelled i mean there was multiple bits that i yelled at um but basically when we went into the lucasfilm panel you know they had all their announcements and stuff that went on we got to see a nice little look at sabine at hera um and obviously in mandalorian we got to see zeb uh which was pretty awesome um and yeah let's let's just let's just watch the trailer because we did also get introduced to some new characters as well which i find very interesting Something's coming. Like, this is all just insane to me. Like, I was sat, like, dark. at the panel. This. This. Oh, my goodness. So, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep pausing it at certain parts. But, like, this, this just reminds me so much of uh, the episode in The Clone Wars. Like, the last episode's, like, Order 66 and stuff where she puts them down and she spins. And so freaking cool. So cool. I sense it. Look at Sabine! Look at the loath cat! Look at the loath cat! Look at him! He's so cute! He is so adorable! I love him! And Sabine has got long hair and it's very colorful and it looks very nice. I absolutely love the way she looks in this. this I think they've casted her perfectly. Look at her! She's so pretty! She is so pretty! So some also, these guys look crazy. War. Look at her! Oh! she's so cool sorry this is like all just bringing out my emotions again like she looks awesome she looks so freaking good and when she came out on stage and we saw like the first poster and stuff for her, oh my gosh oh and chopper chopper my boy my boy my favorite murder droid in the planet he is my favorite droid i love him so much and i am so excited so obviously chopper as we know is our first character to have ever had a well our first character in rebels to have a live action debut even if it was only like a very split second in the background of rogue one but technically he is our first on-screen character and now he's back we get to witness him properly up close proper like just there like he's just there and i'm so excited he looks perfect and oh my little boy these guys look very cool very very cool and i have more to say on them later look all it's ezra's little tar it's been a while things have changed are you guys ready are you guys ready motherfucking mom mothma as well let's go <laughs> dude this honestly like the entire entire like 4500 people that were in that room erupted in screams like you see this you see this the suit you see the 
slight blue on his ears and everyone was like oh my god first ever live action appearance of thrawn absolutely insane insanity oh! as heir to the empire name drop and her her i love her we have to prepare for the worst oh she's so pretty the Jedi fell a long time ago. There aren't many left. Ezra! Inquisitor. Perhaps it is time to begin again. Okay, so we have a lot to talk about. Oh man, I don't even know where to begin. So I have like a bunch of notes and stuff written down that I can kind of like talk from um, because like trying to remember everything from the panels was going to be impossible. Um, but I have a bunch of my thoughts sort of like written down here. So I want to talk about the cool like um, Sith characters that we meet. So I can't remember their first names, but I know that their second names are Skull and Hattie. Now, if you guys have played God of War, or if you guys know your Norse mythology, Skull and Hattie are the two wolves. And that is very typical and very classic of Dave Filoni to introduce two characters. Dave Filoni, the man who loves wolves, for him to introduce two characters and name them after wolves. And obviously one of them represents the sun, one represents the moon. I don't know if that's going to come into play in any in any way in the, in the show, but... I do think it's very cool to have that as their names. I'm really intrigued to learn more about them because I think they look really cool. Um, but yeah, so obviously, like I said, we saw an extended exclusive trailer um, in the Ahsoka panel itself on the second day. And let me tell you, that was incredible. That was such an insane experience. So I'm obviously, I don't want to spoil it too much because I don't want to like ruin, any, ruin it for anyone. But for the next couple of minutes, I will talk about some things that were shown in this extended trailer. So if you don't want to do that, then uh, skip a couple of minutes on and yeah. But basically, we saw Thrawn's face. Um, please ignore like the the image that's being spread around Twitter of that like leak because it's a very bad quality image. It was taken from a bad angle. I will tell you that I saw that straight up on the big screen. And he looked incredible. His, the, the, he, 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 I mean, he was blue, obviously. He had, like, all the proper contouring. His eyes were glowing red. Like, they weren't just red. They were glowing red. And it was only shown for, like, a split second. But, oh, my gosh, he looked incredible. And that was when we had our reveal that it was motherfucking Lars Mikkelsen that everybody, everybody's been hoping for. Everyone's like, if it's not Lars, we don't want it. And it's a case of like, I would accept whoever they cast because I trust in their casting decisions. Um, but seeing Lars get that, that like role, I think for me, when it comes to Thrawn, because of how some characters have been translated from animation to live action, I know it is difficult for some characters, but the thing that is the most important about Thrawn is his voice. Like, Thrawn would not be the same. Like, if he looked the same but had a different voice, it wouldn't work. It's not Thrawn. Thrawn is Lars Mikkelsen. Lars Mikkelsen is Thrawn. The voice for Thrawn is the most important part of him. Um, because the way he speaks so, like, slowly and calmly, but so fierce in a way that I can't even describe, like, that's Thrawn. And having someone else come on to act him, I don't think would work. I really, really don't think it would work. Um, and when Lars came on stage, he walked on like Thrawn. Like, he has the walk down, and it was incredible. Like, the way he even, like, raised his microphone and slowly spoke, I was like, dude, it was incredible to witness. It was so surreal, and I'm so, so, so glad that they have cast him and I cannot wait to see him in action in Ahsoka in August. I cannot wait.
um, more stuff that we saw in the uh, exclusive trailer was Sabine with a green lightsaber. And now I personally didn't get a close enough look at it because I was trying to take everything in. But people are saying that it was Ezra's lightsaber. Um, and like I said, I don't have the proof or the photos or anything like that. But from what people are saying, it was Ezra's lightsaber. I just saw her with a lightsaber and I was like, holy shit, she's got a lightsaber. That's really cool. Um, so we got to see her wield that. Um, and then we also saw, I, I can't remember if this was in this trailer or the extended one, but there was like a close up of the, uh, the female Sith in person. Um, and people are suspecting that she is holding Kanan's lightsaber, which makes sense because, uh, Price collected Kanan's lightsaber and gave it to Thrawn. So it could very well be, uh, Kanan's lightsaber, which uh is kind of heartbreaking honestly it kind of hurts a lot but yeah the, the the main focus of the exclusive trailer was thrawn and sabine um which was very cool we also got to see ezra in the main trailer as we saw uh which was really cool it was just a little hologram but we saw him he's there he's real uh which is really really cool to see i feel like the first season of ahsoka i feel like we're probably not gonna find him i feel like the first season is gonna be leading up to that and then maybe we'll get like a cliffhanger and then it'll go into second season with ezra i'm not sure i don't know i we don't know enough about this yet but i cannot wait so obviously now that we've seen hera sabine chopper ezra mon mothma it has me wondering like what other characters are we gonna see we also saw apparently one of the characters from resistance uh i've just read this on twitter but one of the characters from star wars resistance his dad is apparently in the scene with Mon Mothma. I have not watched Resistance. Maybe I will. Maybe I will do a reaction on that because I'm going to have no content to watch until uh, August. So maybe if you guys want me to react to Resistance, I know it's not for everybody. Not everybody loves it. It's one of like the sort of least popular, but I feel like I do have to watch it. I feel like I really should just so that I can be up to date on everything. We also saw an Inquisitor. And he looks very, 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 very like the eighth brother in Rebels. I cannot for the life of me remember what happened to him, but we know that not everyone dies. If the eighth brother was like said to be dead, because of the because when you see in the trailer the mask that he was wearing, it's like very identical to the eighth brother. And we see the Inquisitor Saber, so um, it's very likely to be him. And I am very happy with that because Inquisitors are one of my top three favorite things in all of Star Wars. For me, it's the Night Sisters, the Inquisitors, and the Clones. Those are my top three, like, favorite sort of things within Star Wars. So to see an Inquisitor just makes me so happy. Um, but yeah, it makes me wonder what other characters we're going to get. So are we going to see Zeb? We've seen Zeb in Mando. Um, so I'm really hoping that he doesn't, like, stay in Mando and that he comes along in Ahsoka with, you know, with the rest of the crew. Because it would be wrong to not have him there. I know he's living a happy life on a, on a farm with his husband, Callus, but like he can take a little break. They can take a break to come help find Ezra. Um, and that obviously begs the question, are we going to see Callus? Like my hope for Callus has been so strong in every show that we've been watching. Like I'm like, uh, is Callus going to show up? Like we saw Zeb and Mando and I'm like, Callus? Uh, I also said before going into the Ahsoka panel, I was like, are we gonna get to see Callus? And I was so holding out hope, but I feel like it would be very, it would be very cool if we did, and I'd be very happy. Will we get to see Jason Syndulla? Because we've kind of saw him once, and we've gotten no more information on him, so I think it'll be very interesting to see how they interpret Jason Syndulla into live action, and I think that'll be really nice to see. Are we gonna have any? loath wolves like you know with canon involved in some kind of way i think that would be very cool to see too uh but no one dear feloni we will see wolves of some kind there's the potential to see uh lieutenant list i don't know i i like list i think he's cool i think he's funny um he was done so dirty by callus but I, I think he's such a he's such a meme and so funny, and I do think he's a cool character. So it'll be interesting to see people like Lieutenant List and stuff come into this. Uh, I would also like an Admiral Price name drop because I do also love Price. I hate what she did, but I kind of do love her character. I've literally cosplayed her. We're not gonna bring that up because that was awful looking. But I, I do, I do want some name drops. I think it'll be very cool um, because it literally is live action Rebels. 
it's not just ahsoka it's live action rebels so we're gonna be continuing on from where we left off and i'm so looking forward to seeing all like the references the easter eggs like we saw lothal in the trailer which looked incredible uh we saw like ezra's little like tar that he lived in for a little bit and you see like sabine at the top of it where we've also seen her at the end of rebels like sort of leaning on the bar and looking over we've seen ezra do the exact same thing um so it's all really nice to see um obviously again with the thrawn stuff um they did mention in the panel that they have been talking to timothy zahn uh sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong um they've been talking to him and getting his opinions and working alongside him to make sure that they get Thrawn perfect. So I have so much faith in them that they're going to do it right. And I can't wait. And obviously they had the heir to the Empire name drop and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I think that's very, very cool. I think Thrawn... Thrawn is one of my favorite characters. I think, is he in my top three or top four of Rebels altogether? Because uh, I've got Callus, Zeb, Chopper thrawn those are kind of like my main i guess yeah they're my main four favorite characters um in rebels so i'm very like there he is you can see the little blue boy you can see a little blue boy and you can see my little chopper down there um but yeah very exciting and like i said as well the uh, beginning looked like the ahsoka like after order 66 scene where she has the lightsabers and she twists them around and she falls through like it's really cool really um very familiar there was also a scene uh, where she was with the Sith, the the the, the male Sith. I uh, I can't remember if he's Skull or Hattie. I can't remember which one's which. But there was a scene where they were together. There was a scene where they were together, um, and it looked like they were in the world between worlds. Let me get it up real quick, um, so you guys know exactly which scene I'm talking about. Okay, so as you can see in this scene, the background is that that has to be the world between worlds, like. What else is that going to be? Like, you the, the, look at the shapes and stuff around. That is 100% the world between worlds. And I find that very fascinating because I'll be honest with you, the world between worlds confuses me so much. Like, I still haven't got a full grasp on how it works, what it means, all that kind of stuff. Um, because that kind of thing is too much for my brain to handle. I love seeing it and I love witnessing it, but, like, my brain is just like, what the fuck's happening here? So I'm very int intrigued to see more of this area and seeing this little stunt that she does with her leg kick god damn girl god damn we also got to see morgan elsbeth again which i'm so excited for so i've had my theories about her for a very long time um as someone who is very obsessed with the night sisters and the witches of dathomir and everything everything dathomir related honestly um my opinion of her has always been i don't think that she's a night sister so currently our only sort of canon clan of witches on dathomir so night sisters aren't like a race they're a clan um they are a specific clan on dathomir in legends there's a bunch of other clans that are mentioned like they all have their little separate clans um but currently night sisters are the only as far as i'm aware they're the only canon ones uh comics might say differently i'm not too sure i haven't really looked into the comics but from like clone wars and like rebels and e literally everything star wars nice sisters are our only clan um so what i like to believe is that morgan elsbeth is a witch from dathomir but she might bring in the other clans into canon. So she might be from a specific clan that she you know she only has one little like marking up here. As we know, the Night Sisters have markings all over their face. They have tattoos all, all like everywhere. So Morgan, I do feel, is a witch of Dathomir. Um, and they did say in the panel that we will get to find out her backstory. We will get a lot of information on her. And I am so excited. If she's not a witch from Dathomir. I'm gonna be totally okay with that but if she is i'm gonna sh I, I i am gonna like lose my mind because for me the way that she looks the way she acts you know the way she fights she very very well could be death marion and i'm i'm I, i'm holding on to that theory that's that's where i'm going with that but yeah i i'm excited to see more content from her um but yeah i i, I i'm not sure what else to kind of like talk about from this trailer because i think i've kind of covered the most important parts um but to be able to experience like this panel with four thousand five hundred other people 
was absolutely insane. As much as I'm sad that I couldn't react first time to the trailer, because I, I, when Thrawn came on screen, I yelled so loudly. I'm not usually very vocal in front of other people because I have severe social anxiety, but when an entire hall filled with people are doing the exact same thing, I was not going to hold back. I like screamed, I yelled, I was like full pog champ face the entire time. I was crying. It was insane. It was so insane. I'm so sorry that I couldn't record my reaction. Um, you know, I, I wanted to, but one, it was very dark. And two, they had security literally walking up and down, up and down. And would have, they've said that they would kick you out if they caught you recording. Obviously, I wasn't recording the screen, but still, I would be recording audio. And I didn't want to get in trouble. I know that Blindwave had the same issue. They really wanted to record their reactions. And I think they got some reactions recorded, but it wasn't like the best footage because they kind of had to like record it from like down below and you know i was saying to i was saying to them i was like how the hell are we supposed to record our reactions like how are we supposed to do this and we just there wasn't really any way to do it um so i do apologize that i don't have that but um i'll be honest experiencing it on the big screen was just incredible and i'm so glad that i got to do that um and obviously the panel with all the guests and stuff was great um at first when they had like all the seats and stuff filled out with like the table uh they started like bringing out all the guests and stuff like the cast and i was really hoping that there was going to be a seat for lars mickelson because they hadn't announced anything yet um you know they brought out Hera and sabine and you know i was kind of like are they gonna are they gonna have a seat for lars and then by the time the entire cast came out there was no seats left so i kind of gave up hope i was like well obviously they're not going to announce thrawn you know, they're not going to tell us that it's going to be Lars. But I had in the back of my mind, I was like, I really hope he's here. Like something, my gut was telling me Lars is going to show up. He's going to be here. But when the seats got filled, I kind of lost hope a bit. And I was like, uh. And then they showed the trailer and then they showed his face. And I was like, and then they were like, do you guys want to know who's playing Thrawn? Why don't you just see for yourself? And then motherfucker just walked out and then they brought another chair out for him. So they baited us so hard. Um, and he just walked out and it, oh, it was such a surreal experience. And I'm, uh, can't, I can't say how thankful I am that I got into that panel. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to talk about. I don't remember. If there is, I'll talk about it in the comments. Um, but let me know your guys' opinions, what you think. Uh, I am so, so hyped for this. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, because I will be reacting to every episode in August. August really isn't that far away either. So I am very hyped for this. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my review. I will have more videos up soon about other panels and other things. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So peace and may the force be with you.